a real live project that will allow us to show some of the fantastic new capability of X6's color styles and color harmony. In this case, a person, my son-in-law, actually needed to screen print this. He was handed all his client could give him was a PowerPoint file. What you're looking at here is a PowerPoint file. But it was, all of these are bitmaps. N needs to be cleaned up. Uh, several changes need to be made, need to be, needed to be vectorized. So my son-in-law sent this off to a vectorization facility, obviously in Pakistan or India, but uh, apparently the color coordination on the monitor was way off. This is what was sent to the digitizer, and this is what came back. Actually very well digitized, but the colors were totally unacceptable. This is what we wanted, and this is what we got. Now, obviously, or maybe the, either, either the monitor was way off, or the person just uh, assumed that was a mistake, this big old boy in green. Anyway, we got back very dark brown and could never bring the detail out of that. So we're going to use this to show X6's new color capability. So I'm going to go to my pick tool and we'll see what this is that came back. Ah, a group of three and ungroup it is what I meant. And then we'll click on the graphic itself and we'll cut that edit and cut x6 would have been quicker but I'm still trying to stay away from the hotkeys so you everyone will be able to see more what I'm doing then I'm going to go to a, a blank page and we'll edit and paste this in so here is that with which we have to work we need that to be a bright green. We're going to open up CorelDRAW's new Color Styles Docker. And with that selected, we're going to tell it that we would like to create a new color style from that which is selected. It analyzes that and thinks, well, you need at least, or we recommend, three color styles. Uh, when I get better with this, I will probably accept what they recommend. I have a little more control if I put a few more styles in this. I'm going to tell it five styles. Now over in our color styles docker, we see the five different similar styles that CorelDRAW detected in there. Now we have total control over this. So to, to begin explaining some of those things that I see are so close, we're, we're going to simplify this. These three greens here, I'm going to select the first one and the last one and tell it to merge those. By the way, I'm watching very carefully to see if that badly distorted anything. And by the way, I didn't see that it did. Um, but it's that brown that I'm really trying to modify. So I'm going to start working on some of these. I'm going to take this color and select that first. Hold down the shift key and select this last. Always with, as with CorelDRAW, the last item selected becomes the anchor. So it's going to merge all four of these into that last color when I click on merge. Now looking better. Now actually, I, I'm going to move that color style up on the second color style, I'm going to do the same thing there. I'm going to merge all of those. We'll select this one. Now let's go the other direction. We're selecting this. And we're going to turn those first three into the last. What we're trying to do is get all of the things that we want similar over here looking the same. So I'm going to tell it to merge those. And uh, now that those are merged, well, let's see. I'm going to bring this one up here also. We'll do one more merge. Ah, now we're getting pretty much what we want. That's what we really want modified within that part. 
So now down on our color, down on our harmony editor, I'm going to drag that over into the green portion of it. Aha! And basically, I'm done there. But let me just brag on all of the controls I have. If I want that lighter, I can go closer toward white. Uh, but I want it a real deep, dark, dense green. But how would it look in red? And not what we wanted, but an interesting look. But what we were really, what our objective was, was to turn this into the Hulk that we have all come to know and love. But again, to move a little further with all the controls I have, we can slide this to make it a much brighter. If we're going to laser engrave it, really that would look much better than the colors that are closer. But I think probably this would be a little closer to the color that uh, the original PowerPoint have. Ah, but we can slide this. How would it look in blue? Now, nah, let's backspace, uh, undo that. And lastly, we can drag and drop that into uh, the bar down here, giving us whatever effects we need. But uh, a little darker there, somewhere along that line. And so with, I hope you see with just a few keystrokes, I've turned that totally unacceptable part into something that's quite quite uh, what our customer needed. So now we can separate these colors, screen print it, sublimate it, or whatever the case dictates. But since we've gone this far, now let's edit and copy that. We'll switch back to page two from where we got it. We'll edit and paste that. And then we put that, the way we did it, we put that out on top of this part. So let's select this object, go to arrange, order, and bring that object toward the front. Ah, now we got our logo and put the rope back behind here. Project completed.